Here we go, here we go. It's all kicking off. They got- oof. He is lucky that did not connect to the back of his head. He would have got quite a wallop off that. Oh, he's getting it anyway now. Oh, Jesus, he's down. He could not withstand those blows. Greetings, citizens. It is I, King Cukeser. My crown is absent because it has been sent away for alterations for my fat head. As you all no doubt know, my kingdom has recently surpassed one million subjects, and to celebrate, I have decided to host a day of violence, henceforth known as the King's Tournament. Here we are at Scone Palace in Scotland. You'll be familiar with Scone if you watch my video on the Stone of Destiny. I've been told it's pronounced Scoon, but I'll be dead in the cold hard ground before I pronounce this word as anything but Scone. Well, without any further ado, bring out the fighters for the first melee. Ah, Sir Don of the Pisswater. Sir Ardvar. I don't know who that is. Sir Cheese Grater, the Ram, and the Weeping Knight. These brave knights fight under the flag of Sweden. Their opponents here are heralded by Sir Topknot under the banner of Scotland. There he is, he looks like he's having fun there. Scottish knights looking quite strong here. Oh, big hugs before they kill each other. That's nice. Oh, look at that. I'd noticed Sir Gnome is on the field for Sweden. I didn't see him in the lineup. He must have snuck in. He's not actually that short. He just has a gnomish silhouette in those garments. Here we are now. The Scots charging in. My God, look at that. Oh, he's down straight away. Sir Gnome killing people left, right and center. Okay, they're ganging up on Sir Gnome here. Oh, my God. Another fella hit the dirt. Go on, Sir Gnome. Whack him. Whack him. Go on, kill him. Whack him. I don't know if he's dead now or not, that fella Sir Gnome was after, but the Gnome, he's not sure what to do now. He's going in to defend his team. Oh, it's too late. Go on, no Gnome has him there. Gnome has him. Choke him out. Oh, bring him to the ground. Lovely, lovely. The marshals now have something to say about this. Oh, the Scottish guy is getting up. I think that's because the Gnome took him down by the neck, and that's apparently not allowed, but sure. Ugh. I don't agree with that. There's marshals standing in the way, so not only are they making decisions that displease me, but they're also doing this. Looks like that Scottish fella's going for a single leg takedown here. Doesn't look like that's going to work. And now they both go down, so that was totally pointless. There's one versus one now. Scotland versus Sweden. Come on now, let's see who's gonna do who now. A oh, buckler right to the face there. A headbutt by the Scottish guy. Oh my god, he gives it back. <laughs> and he just, oh, buckler right to the head. Buckler right to the head again. The Scottish guy not even flinching. He's just standing there taking it. What kind of strategy is this? He's giving him a whack at a hatchet there. Not a lot of strength behind these blows. He must be... He's exhausted. Somebody's going to have to break out now here and start baiting the other person. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. He made the Scottish guy back with the headbutts, but... Once again, it looks like his strength is completely sapped. He's still at it. That's all the strength of somebody knocking at your door. Oh, the Swedish guy <laughs> gives it back. The Swedish guy now needs to put that buckler right in his face. Oh, the marshals are in again. The dirty good for nothing killjoys. What's happening here now? Oh my, the Swedish guy yields. I think there is a malfunction with his armor there. I think he was forced to yield. That is a shame. Sir Gnome there gives a little wave. <laughs> Sir Spinzela here. Okay, round two. Round one was for Scotland. Let's see what happens now. 
The marshals seem to be giving some sort of warnings or something. I don't think they were too happy about what they were seeing last time, but sure, who cares what they think. If I was one of these Swedish lads, I'd just hit him right in the face with that axe. Get rid of him. A full-on charge. No, that guy's just running. Oh, he's flanking. He's flanking. Oh, look at that. Axe is right in the back. Oh, I think that's Sir Gnome there after eating the dirt. And that fella as well. Don't celebrate yet. That is the Gnome down there. Oh, my God. Well, it's all over for Sweden. The Gnome, their, their MVP is on the ground. Watching on in horror. Look at this, two versus one here. Oh, to the back of the leg. I don't know if that's allowed, back of the leg. The marshal is looking intently on. I think that would I think he might have made a mistake there hitting him in the back of the leg. Gives him a bit of a kick there, but I think it's safe to say this Swedish guy is well there he is. Didn't even get to finish my sentence. I don't think a single Scottish guy went out. This guy's marching over, not a care in the world. Obviously no urgency here whatsoever. He is very confident. What's even happening here? Who can tell? Oh, the gnome. Breaks my heart seeing him on the ground. He can only watch. I think this could be five on two here. Yes, five on two. This is not looking good for Sweden. It just whacked him in the head there. He's still standing. But I don't know if there's much left in this. He's down. One left. The marshals, the marshals step in. And that's it. That is the end of the bout. <laughs> the gnome's back on his feet, but... Clearly disappointed in his team, and who can blame him? He really carried the team, but sure, to what avail? What avail? They all let him down. Scotland wins! Bring on the second round of fighters! Sir Kettlehead, Baron Blackleaf in the fancy armour. He'll be the one to beat, mark my words. But look at this now. Multiple Black Knights on the Ukrainian team, giving them a supreme advantage. My money's on them. 10,000 gold pieces. Very somber face off here. This is going to be a serious bout. People are going to get hurt, which is just how I like it. Here we are now. Stern wall. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What's happening over there? Bit of argy bargy. Look at that black knight. He's just whacking away. He doesn't care at all. Oh, right in the head. Look at his helmet. It's all wrinkly. <laughs> the Canadian fella punching the Black Knight, but to no avail. Oh, he's down. He's gone. Wrinkly helmet there is... He's going to go down soon enough as well. He's not even fighting back. He's just taking the abuse. Oh, yes. Baron Blackleaf. Come on now, Baron Blackleaf. Oh, he's getting hit from behind. He's getting ganged up on, but he's standing strong. Like I said, he is the one to beat. Look at this repositioning here. This man is a, a genius. He's been grabbed from the back. Oh, the marshals step in. I'm not sure why Baron Blackleaf was not taken down, but apparently the Canadian team have lost anyway. I don't know why the marshal is talking to him now. Don't listen to him, Baron Blackleaf. G get him away. Don't let him touch you. Hit him a smack. Cut his head off. Unbelievable what just happens there to bad. Don't be touching him now. Do not do not touch the Baron. Pee on. Sir Kettlehead here. Looking a little bit worse for wear. Oh, Ukraine have subbed in Captain Gridiron. <laughs> He's in fighting spirits anyway. 
The Shining Knight here is taking the place of Baron Blackleaf. A shame we couldn't have them both on the field at the same time. I think that could have won the battle here for Canada. But let's see what the tactics are here now. The shiny knight off by himself. What's happening here? Give him a smack. The shiny knight. Oh, he's your probably your MVP. Take care of him. Oh, that's not good. Somebody hit the ground there. Didn't see who. Oh, that's that's the shiny knight down. Oh, that's two of them fellas down as well. He just got a whack in the face. Didn't care at all. Now he's getting whack in the shot. Once again, he doesn't really seem to care. I don't know if this guy even knows he's in a fight. Captain Gridiron just knocked down on that fella there. I think that's it. I think Ukraine wins. This fella obviously fancies himself some sort of king, but he is only a pretender. We shall have him executed for this. Well fought, Baron Blackleaf. Canada bested by Ukraine and their many black knights. 10,000 gold pieces, what a wise wager by me. That's why I'm king. On to the third bout. It's the US versus Finland. We've got some guy from the US here talking shite on behalf of his team. Talking about how their country is the best on earth and land of the free and home of the brown. I'm not even joking, he is really saying this stuff. <laughs> Sunglasses are a little anachronistic for the time period, don't you think mate? Here's the US team now, of course they have to have a big flag waving around. Oof, look at that shining white knight in the back there for the US, nary a scratch on his armour. For Finland we have Sir Mope who isn't overly happy to be here, but look at this, a true black knight, what an imposing fellow. Will we see him take on the white knight in single combat? Oh look at this fella now here, Sir Smiley Head, will he be smiling by the time this is all over? Sir Roswell. Now remember, no disintegrations. Oh. Oh, heartwarming display of chivalry by the White Knight. We should expect no less, I suppose. Who's gonna do what now here? <laughs> Looks like we've got Sir Blowfish on the US team. He's coming straight out. making a move just yet oh here we go here we go it's all kicking off they got oof he is lucky that did not connect to the back of his head he would have got quite a wallop off that oh he's getting it anyway now oh jesus he's down he could not withstand those blows the white knight there is in a clinch with somebody in the back somebody hit the ground there face first probably hurt the white knight what's happening Oh, it's over now, I think. Finland still ha- I'm not sure what's going on, but, but the US has won. There's obviously a rule that I'm missing here, that when there's only one guy left, he may or may not be allowed to continue. The White Knight's armor really is dazzling in the sun. I have to commend him for the upkeep of his equipment. Oh, the Black Knight is in now. Let's see what he can do. The Black Knight, he's just off by himself. These three lads facing off against him would want to watch out now. He might be only one, but he is the Black Knight, so... Oh, the White Knight appears in frame. Could we see it? Could we see it? They're inching closer to each other. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Very tense standoff here. But it's all about the... It's happening! It's happening! The White Knight and the Black Knight facing off. Everybody's just going to leave them alone, I suppose. Oh no, never mind. They're all ganging up on them now. The Black Knight is victim of cheap, cheap tactics. Oh, he's been tripped up. He's out. He's out. The White Knight is still in there. Oh, he... Jesus! People, everybody falling over here. Oh, it's over. It's all over. Team US wins. The White Knight still standing, the Black Knight in the dirt. 
have to say I'm a little disappointed now, you know, they, they did face off, but it wasn't wasn't quite what we had hoped, you know, the rest of the Team USA had to gang up on them, wouldn't let them have their moment. The Black Knight and the White Knight give each other a hug, their paths destined to cross again. Well, that's it, the USA wins. Look at the Black Knight, he's quite a tall fellow. Very exciting battles in the five-a-side melees, but now for our final showing, a duel to be fought with Longsword. Step forward, brave knights. Sir Yellow looking very intimidating. Look at that man there now. His opponent, Sir Saltire. 10,000 gold pieces on Sir Yellow. He just looks scarier, doesn't he? Oh, look at this. The clinch. Oof. Strong action here now. Go on, Sir Yellow. Oh, a sneaky knee there to the midsection. Oh, and it's returned. Go on, Sir Yellow. Oh, pommel strike to the face. And a couple more for good measure, why not? Oh, a big boot by Sir Saltire. Come on, Sir Yellow. I think this... Sir Saltire might be a bit stronger than Sir Yellow. But Sir Yellow, I think, has the technical advantage. Okay, Sir Yellow, you know what you have to do. This guy might be a bit stronger, so stay away and just keep whacking him. Just, just bait him. Yeah, in we go. No, don't get too close. Look at him pushing you away. I told you not to do Look at him. I told you not to do this. He's too strong. Just give him a smack. Go. Yeah, choke him now. Get to choke him. <laughs> Put the pommel on the windpipe there and... Oh yeah, smack him right in the face. The Marshall is saying something here now, but who cares? Just cut his head off. Go on, Sir Yellow. Sir Yellow, you have to stop getting caught up with this guy. Don't wrestle him, Sir Yellow. Just hit him. Just hit him, lad. Look at him. He's baiting you around. You cannot fight this man. He's too strong. Oh. Pommel strikes in the face. Keep it up. Go on, Sir Yellow. Keep baiting him. Oh, look at him. He's crumpling. It's over for him. He fall down. Cut his head off now. He's down. Of course, the marshal gets in the way. Okay, Sir Yellow, you really have to stop doing this test of strength thing with this fella. He's too strong. Look, I tell you every time. Just hit him. Give him a smack. There we go. Now, Sir Yellow, do not do that again. Just hit him. Hit him straight out again. Start swinging. Go crazy. Go crazy. Do not run up and get in a clinch with him. He, he went straight for it. He's literally doing it intentionally. Who knows why? Hit him right there, though. Keep hitting him. Go on, whack him. Look, he's too strong. He's pushing you all around the place. I don't know why you do this. Come on, Sir Yellow. Yeah, give him a smack. Cut his guts out. Yeah, there we go. Disembowel him. Sir Saltire, he's very strong, but... Oh, beautiful headbutt there. Do it again. That one was nice. I want to see that again. The pommel strikes again here by Sir Yellow, oh, and again it takes Sir Salter to the to the ground. Look at him falling over there like a sack of shy. Okay, Sir Yellow, you know what you have to do. Well, maybe you don't. I don't know if I'm watching you fight here. I'm not sure. Take my advice, though. Just hit him. Stay away from him. He's too strong for you, so just keep hitting him. He does it again. Come on, come on now, Sir Yellow. Hit him. Give him a kick. Yeah, smash him up there. Look, he's tired, he's tired. Oh, the Marshal, the Marshal is very clearly biased in favor of Sir Saltire. Well fought, Sir Yellow. Well-deserved win. Give him a punch now, finish him off. And that concludes the King's Tourney. Methinks there will be a spectacular feast to follow. My gratitude to all who attended this fine day, and to all my loyal subjects. Consider subscribing if you'd like to count yourself among them, and until next time, stay safe.
I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get these rings off. V5 now. He's swinging away there now. Who can tell what? Ugh, Sir Norm there looking on in dismay. He knows now that he's down that his team doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> 